All right, so I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about running LED turn signals and brake lights on your car. Um, and on some cars, um, you just won't be able to do this. So I'm going to explain to you some of the things you need if you want to run LED turn signals. Um, and you have you want to run LED brake lights, you cannot use an 1157 bulb. Um, just so you know, this bulb, if you have a bulb that looks like this, it won't work. So we'll go over that real quick. I'm going to show you why it won't work. And, um, and I'll show you that there's other ways to do it. Um, but you can't use this 1157 bulb. I'll go over that in a second. One of the things you're going to need is you're going to need a LED flasher. You see this one here says LED. It says flasher for LED. You need one of these. This is a three prong. They also have a two prong. Okay. Both work about the same. Uh, they have money bay. Um, if you wanted to get one of these, they're not expensive. This is an electronic one. These are the better ones. There's some of them that are more basic than this. Okay. Um, and this bulb right here, and the reason these won't work is what they have is, as I'll show you real quick right now. So in theory, you'd think it would work, um, but I'll show you why that it won't. Um, because if you look at these LED bulbs, they're all, all these bulbs light up with both circuits. So if you touch to one of these and they touch the other one, it's supposed to light up less bright, but it isn't doing that right now. It used to a second ago. Hang on, let me check this bulb. I need to grab the wrong, wrong one. Yeah, it looks like I grabbed I grabbed the wrong one. So let me show you here. You put on these connector here, and that's a dim light. And over here, it's a bright light. Okay, dim light, bright light. Seems like it would work. And when you hook them together, it's a bright light, both of them. Okay, but what happens is, is when you power up the bright light, uh and you put a voltmeter on this side of it, part of the right light, you put a voltmeter, there's actually voltage feeding back out of this light. So what happens is you, for instance, and you all end up with all this weird stuff. You'll turn on your left turn signal and the right one will blink too. The right and the left will turn, turn signal will blink. Um, and it's because inside this, there is a little circuit board inside of here. And what it's doing is, see, all it's doing is saying this side here is the low, not so bright one, and the other side is the bright one. And those two things will tie together um, because the bulbs are all, uh, they're all the same bulbs. So, for instance, if they made it light up with half of these bulbs for the, for the low beam and the other half for the high beam or whatever, um, then it would work. But they have them both on the same circuit. These bulbs don't work, okay? So if you're trying to do LEDs or something like that, you have an older car, 1157 bulbs, these will not work. So um, I thought that this one, I thought I tried this one earlier, and uh, three of the LEDs would light up, and then the rest of them would light up for the other circuit, but it's actually wired the same way when I checked it now. I'm not sure why it, it was, I thought it was working, but this one here is the same way. So one side's dim, one side's brighter, dim, bright, dim, bright, okay. And, but, and when you connect them together, you know, it's bright like it should be, but because they're the same bulbs again, it's probably going to feed back and it won't work. So I think they actually, maybe they make a LED bulb that each individual bulb is separate and half of them light up for, or a quarter of them light up for one and three quarters light up for the other. And that's the type of LED bulb that I was, that I thought I had here, but it's not. So these won't work either. So you might end up on a goose chase trying to do this. So um, you might be better off just running the regular bulbs. 
Now, if you have two 1156s, so you have a separate brake light and a separate turn signal, and you run two different 1156s, you can run a six volt flasher with that car. So you can, or with a, not six volt, sorry, you can run an LED flasher with that. So if you look here, if that's what you want to do. If you have a car that does not has an isolated turn signal, and you want to run turn, you want to run your turn signals with LEDs. You can do that with your turn signals. But if you're trying to do your brake lights and your and your uh, tail lights on the same thing, you might have a problem. You know, if you're trying to do an uh, 1157, um, you might have that problem because they're wired wrong. I, I'm not sure why they were wired that way. Um, but I, I'm not sure. There might be some of them out there. You might be on a little bit of goose chase trying to figure it out. But there might be ones that are actually wired, like I said, where a half of the lights light up and the other half or whatever, a quarter of them don't light up. And then when you complete the second part of the circuit, they're completely separate from each other and more of the light bulbs light up. If you had that kind of a deal, it would work. Um, so if you, it, or you, or you can make it. So you could take you know, the bulb apart and buy some LEDs, group some of them together on one side, group some together on the other side, and make the circuit work for yourself. Um, just make, make sure you remember that LEDs um, are uh, positive and negative, you know, they, they're light emitting diodes. So um, they, they, you know, the positive and neg negative matters. If you wire them up backwards, they won't work at all. So you have to be done correctly or, or you'll have a problem. Okay, so that's it for the LED turn signals on your older car. Uh, good luck with it. Uh, if you're trying to, remember, if you're trying to do that, you know, test the light bulbs. If you start having some really weird stuff happening, it's probably the light bulb. So, yeah, unfortunately, that's just the way it works. Um, you can also get um, circuit boards on eBay that will convert 6 volts to 12 volts. So, if you want to run a brighter tail light, something like that, like you've got a little car, you can, you can actually buy those little circuit boards on eBay. And uh, I don't have any of them to show you. I have some ones that don't work that I can show you, but the ones that have the non-soldering connectors, the little ones, those ones work better. Alright, so I'll talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.